update of activities from ministries, departments and agencies of Abia State Government. As we speak, we have the UN Habitat working in Naba, talking about a master plan for the Greater Aba. We also have various plans for various cities that we're developing in motion. Then schemes for existing layouts. What I'm talking about schemes, schemes also guides planning at a minute level. So we're talking about schemes for IBB Phase 1, IBB Phase 2, the government station layout, etc. Development control is not left out. This, this is aspect as it relates to planning. When I cross over to our public buildings and you ask what has the Alex OT government done in the public building? We have also invested a lot in the outlook of our public buildings and we still have a long way to go based on the state in which we met the public buildings. If you come to the state secretariat today, it is... Um, you see, it's, it's where I talk and do government. From the fencing of the secretariat, to the cleanness of the secretariat, to the improvement of the structures, to the revamping of the old abandoned Namdi Azikiwe secretariat. And um, we had to evacuate the Asobet building, which had structural issues, and we're dealing with these issues. From the banquet hall, to the Ministry of Agri's layout, to the Ministry of Budget and Planning, so that is also a very important department, the public building department, which this administration has given a lot of power in terms of reviving our public buildings and ensuring that they have that order. And between now and the end of the year, as His Excellency has mentioned, we'll be rolling out on different fronts, be it the commitments to the diaspora estate, the smart city, and the various issues relating to attacking our housing problem, be it in terms of low-density housing, mid-density housing, and high-density housing. And also at the federal level, we have been more sincere and focused in our commitments and partnership with the federal government. For instance, Abia is one of the two southeastern states participating in the Renewed Hope Agenda, and the Federal Ministry of Housing has kicked off. We're also working with the Federal Housing Authority in order to also kick off their layouts. So these are some of the achievements that this ministry, working in line with the manifesto of Dr. Alex Oti, has delivered for Avians. Ease of doing business is key to this government, and part of ease of doing business is the seamlessness with which title documents are issued. So we have that commitment and policy as a state, this administration, that C's of O are issued within a 30-day cycle. What we met when we came in was that C's of O are there for five years, seven years, three years, two years. It wasn't a matter of routine that you apply for your C of O and you get it in. No. In the process of achieving the CFO in 30 days, we had technical issues in terms of the transition. For instance, the signing process of CFO now is automated, making a more efficient system. But our commitment to the adherence of issuance of CFO is sacrosanct. And in achieving this commitment, you don't need a middleman to process your CFO in Abia. You just walk into the customer service center of the Ministry of Lands and Housing or you communicate with us via our well-known customer service number 0916-000-2083 0916-000-2083 or you send an email to us at cfo at abiastate.gov.ng so to adhere to the COO in 30 days is fidelity to transparency and accountability. So from when a file enters our system, we can track it up to the point it exits our system. And if there are any issues that a customer is not getting a COO in 30 days, it in most instances has to do with the customer. Perhaps delay in payments, perhaps faulty surveys, perhaps issues with your town planning records. 
So that waiting for feedback from the customer is what we have mentioned, what challenges we face. But this government has done a lot in terms of um, fidelity to ease of doing business and ensuring that seeds of O are issued in 30 days.